Are you excited, Freedom, to go back out to the mud? <laughs> so this is one of those days where it's just so boring and it's so hard to live in a tiny space because there's really not much to do outside, which I really prefer to be outside. And I don't really have any much exciting to report on this Friday. So I appreciate your kind comments and concerns about where I disappear to. I am okay. I am always okay. It doesn't matter what happens. I will always be okay because uh, this is all just stuff that happens. Life goes on. We just keep moving forward. And uh, I think that's really exciting. So uh, I feel good about where all this is going. It's going to be shifting around a little bit, as you can tell. And I think that this whole nomad portion of the journey is really going to start shifting over to uh, what I'm just getting excited about is this kind of pro-humanity, pro-love, pro-life, uh, not from that perspective, but just life in general. Because I really think that's uh, the battlefield I was born to engage in. Although there's not really a battle. It's just more about... Who you're going to be? Are you going to let the other side win? And uh, are you going to let yourself win? Because I think that in a world of artificial intelligence, virtual reality, and technical giants, the tiny human movement fueled by the heart is going to be who wins in the end. And I'm excited about that. So uh, I think you should buckle up and see where this journey keeps to take us. And I just want to say how much I appreciate you guys joining me here. So baby. Oh, you're cold, aren't you? There's mom. There's baby. You're shivering. Oh, poor baby. Can you see mom and baby? So, Last year, that mom flipped the baby up in the air, knocked it around a couple times to the point where it couldn't move. Not that baby, but her baby the year before. Uh, and she, it was laying there, unable to move. By the time I came out the second time and caught her, uh, two coyotes were like within 10 yards of her, both pounced and waiting. And uh, luckily somebody was close by and came over and they had to take her and the baby to a separate place because she kept trying to kill her baby. She's killed a couple of babies in the past. Uh, so she had it this morning and the guy went and got it and has marked it off, but I feel really bad because it's cold and shivering. But I guess that's better than have your mom kill you. She's panicking, so I'm gonna leave her alone. She's trying to get to her mom and I'm making her really nervous. Uh, so we'll be back out later. Sorry, little one. Freedom. So anyways, I just wanted to come and check on her. Uh, I feel really bad for the baby, but we I think we had four new ones last night. Of course, it's been raining for two days, uh, which is very necessary because we've been in a drought, but uh, I, all the babies came during the storm, which is totally normal. The only good news, while cold, it is not freezing or below freezing, which is really bad for them. But uh, here we are. This is life on the cow farm. <laughs> Concrete. Poor little things. So there she goes back trying to take care of her baby. She wasn't such a frickin'. So this morning I had here you this is what it looks like when it gets muddy. Bring forth the chaos you have sought March towards the war you never fought This pleasure So this morning I had uh, not her but another one chase me down and I almost lost it because it's really hard to run in rain boots that don't fit 100% and you're trying to stay away from the cow. So we had quite an adrenaline rush. She got within 
something about 10 yards of me. It was a little heart stopping. Had my adrenaline rush for the morning. And uh, luckily that other mom didn't kill her baby. The owner guy found it before, it'd been pushed under a fence. So she had already uh, started pushing it away. So this is why life gets exciting here. But it's a gray day. Uh, which makes for a very long day inside and it stinks even though I fixed my leak from four years it actually held this is the first time I've had enough rain for me to test it so so I just thought I would ah, I'm sliding uh, <laughs> All right, so I'm sliding around. Uh, these are when it sucks to be in a trailer because it's cold, it's stinky inside, it's dirty, and it's starting to rain again. I was gonna just see if I could shake out some of the dirt, but that is not gonna happen. I wish I could be outside. I wish I could be outside. Can you see that? Mud is in the water bowl. When he comes in, it just flings everywhere. Here. So before we go, we're going to take one more deep breath for the road as I hope you will rise with the sun in your eyes. Love in your heart, feet firmly on the ground, even if they're sloshing around in a lot of mud, as together we walk on Survival Road, where sometimes you get wet and a little bit dirty. So with that, we will see you next time because my goal is to live free and die wild, no matter what's going on outside, inside, or inside. It doesn't get any better, so we'll see you next time. Thank you.